Okay, uh, this is going to be an example of using Unity with the Arduino. So in this project, and you can find all of the files for this um, at my website, uh, r3dstar.co.uk, and it's the entry controlling an Arduino from Unity. The permalink is page uh, 211. So in this example, and I'm also attempting to film this at the same time with my mobile, so what I've got is a scene and what should happen is when I click on these different cubes you should be seeing, and as long as my editing skills allow me to do this, uh, changes on the LEDs. So to briefly explain what's going on, uh, the blog does cover it in a bit more detail is by utilising the Arduino. Uh, this is a script, uh, first of all, which I created just to test a circuit. Um, this script is uh, the script which is dealing with uh, the communication from Unity uh, through the COM port. Uh, the main lines to uh, acknowledge are creating or opening up the serial, uh, reading the bytes in, and the blog explains this, and then identifying the character which is coming through, and then if it's equal to R, in this case red, turn the red LED on, the yellow one off, and the yellow, uh, the green one off. Um, in Unity itself, I've got the main script is this sending, and I'm just trying out uh, Sublime Text 2, which um, does actually beat mono, hands down. Um, but just to go through this, we've got um, system I.O. ports and threading which have been brought in. We open up a serial port. Um, in this case, it's on COM port 4, and you can check that with uh, the Arduino by going to Tools, Serial Port, and COM 4. So whatever that says there should be the same here. Effectively, what happens is a connection is opened. So this script I've um, altered from elsewhere. Um, I can't remember where it is. I'll try and find the original. And what it will do is it will open up. This line is important as well. Um, so this will open up um, the serial port on COM port 4. And what it, this integer here will effectively control how often um, or how quickly it will time out from reading in. This is something which I've put in for later uh, for sending data from the Arduino to Unity rather than from Unity to the Arduino. But effectively what this will do is if there's no data coming through, it will freeze for this many milliseconds. And the higher up you put that, so I can demonstrate that quickly by changing that to 200 and saving. Um, saving, and now what we should see is it juddering a lot more. So effectively it's putting in a freeze um, on this line. So 16 will give a refresh rate of approximately uh, just over 60.5 well, 60 frames per second. So uh, once the ports are uh, opened, then effectively what's happening is uh, the serial port will write a character depending on whether I've hit the green button, the yellow button and the red button. And so for an example of this script, on mouse down, then it calls the function which I've written on sending, and then that is sent through, picked up by the Arduino here. So when it's reading the bytes in, it's reading R, Y, and G, and then changing the lights. So just to demonstrate that one last time, and that's effectively it. A couple of things to remember though, um, in the project player settings, you need to make sure that the API compatibility level is not set to subset, otherwise um, the I.O. stuff won't work. And I think that's about it. Oh, the other thing to note is if you've got uh, the debugger open, so in tools and got the serial monitor open, Unity won't be able to open the port one or the other can, so to show that the other way around, if I'm running it from Unity, so is that changing now?
So that's working. So running it from Unity, if I try to open the serial monitor now, it won't because some program is using it. So that's effectively um, the process that I've been through. So hopefully that will be of use to you. Um, this has been created for the London Unity User Group uh, event, which we're holding uh, June 27th, I think, um, at the University of Greenwich. So if you're around London and you want to see uh, a slightly more advanced version of this, which I'm hoping um, some of this will... Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's uh, kind of unfinished at the moment. Um, then, yeah, please come along.